let's scoot ahead to group C. I mean, this group's absolutely fucking loaded. I mean, I <laughs> I think group C and D, we'll get to D later, but you kind of get the feeling that whoever comes out of these two groups is going to come out, I mean, just chiseled and just fucking ready, ready for action, ready for the quarterfinals. I just cannot be more pumped for this tournament. All the prep has got me extremely excited. So I want to start with PSG. They take on Ajax Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern. So they got knocked out in the quarters last year by finalist Wolfsburg. They finished second in Division 1. Feminine last year. This year, they're sixth in the table, third if you go by points per match played. They've only played four matches, and they sit currently behind Lyon and Paris FC. So far this season, eight goals for, one goal against. Their only loss this season, I mentioned their 3 0 and 1, was at home to Lyon, and <laughs> they lost on a, you guessed it, a Lesimer rocket, mm-hmm. and they, they weren't able to get on the score sheet. Leading scorers this year for PSG, Tabitha Chawinga, their 27-year-old forward, who got some good looks in that Lyon match. So I think definitely somebody to keep an eye out for. Up front, they also play 23-year-old French forward Sandy Baltimore. Who, unbelievable name, by the way. Kind of sounds like Fantastic. a Philadelphia gangster. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> She's PSG's co-leader and goal scorer this season. Some more names we might recognize from the French World Cup squad. Grace Gayoro. Sakina Karshawi, uh, Lika Martins from, I believe, the Netherlands, and Marie Antoinette Katoto, who are, I think was hurt uh, for most of it, but obviously a huge name. And as mentioned, they take on Ajax, who won the Dutch League last year. They were knocked out of the Champions League last year in the round of 24 uh, by my lady Gunners. So welcome to the party, Ajax. They currently sit second in the domestic league, notching 13 points from five matches so far. 13 goals for three goals against, plus 10 goal differential. They've gotten six goals this year from 22-year-old Rome Lecture, hmm. as well as a goal from 16-year-old American Lily Johannes, who comes oh. from an Eritrean family, uh, a, an Eritrean football family, uh, and her brother plays for Wake Forest. So yeah, definitely some footballing pedigree. Going to be excited to keep an eye out for Lily in this one. And then the only other name I recognize on this Ajax team, 33-year-old, Sharita Spitze, who was a midfielder who got a lot of run for the Netherlands uh, in this past World Cup. And yeah, this one's going to be interesting. PSG Ajax Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern. A lot of big names, recognizable European footballing brands kind of going head to head. But yeah, what are you looking forward to in this one? Yeah, man. Absolutely stacked. The pedigree, I think, is incredible of like all four of these clubs. I mean, Ajax kind of speaks for itself. Ajax has always kind of separated themselves with the youth development program, whether it's men's or women's football. So it's awesome to see that there's a 16 year old American. I, I gotta say, I I missed that. I mean, obviously this was kind of your group to take, but I am excited. I I hope Lily gets some run and we'll kind of see, you know, how that develops over time. What an incredible opportunity to play in some important matches and against world-class competition, uh, I mean, Karshawi was was incredibly important for France. Like you said, you already know what time it is with Marie Antoinette Katoto. I mean, she was just one of their dominant players for years. So, I mean, this is just... I, I realize we're saying this a lot about how we're psyched about a lot of these matches. This is a just a must-watch. PSG, Ajax, come on, what the fuck are we talking about? 100%. And <laughs> the, the other half of this group, how about a little Bayern Munich taking on Roma (laughs) Wednesday, 1245 uh, PM Eastern here. So let's start with Bayern Munich. They won the Frauen Bundesliga last year, and they sit at the top of the table again this year. Two draws in the season, though, out of six matches. So not unbeatable. Bayern found the draw with eighth place SC Freiburg, as well as fellow Champions League side Eintracht Frankfurt. They won their other four matches this season to get them to 4-2-0. and 11 goals for, three goals against on the year. Their goals are pretty well distributed this season. In six matches, they've gotten two goals apiece from Leah Shula, Linda Dalman, Pernille Harder, Giovanna Damjanovic. Pretty spread offensive attack for Bayern. Last year, they were eliminated in the quarters by Arsenal. And their roster, also pretty loaded. Clara Bull, who you re- you'll recognize, Tuva Hansen, Georgia Stanway from, from your squad, and right. Samantha Don't Call Me Sam Kerr <laughs> from Scotland. I was going to say, this is the Scottish Samantha Kerr, right? (laughs) Yeah. Gotcha. They're taking on Roma. So 
Roma won Serie A Feminine last year, and they're still atop the Serie A Feminine table again this year. 6 0 0, 23 goals for, 4 against. Last year, they were eliminated in the quarters by Barcelona, and they're also fucking stacked. So, some names were recognized. How about Japanese national team captain Saki Kumagai, uh, yeah. defender and fellow Japanese international Moeka Minami? I also love Roma's two forwards. Um, I think they're definitely two players to watch. That's Canadian uh, Eveline Viennes and Atacante Italiana Valentina Giacinti, who you might remember from this most recent World Cup, where she started in two of Italy's three World Cup matches. Um, she's the forward with the short hair, who's very scrappy, very physical, um, and just always kind of in the mix. I don't think she really got to kind of show out in the World Cup, uh, but domestically, she's pretty filthy. I mean, this group, I really can't say enough about it. It feels like every combination of these four te- <laughs> of these four teams is going to be like a must watch. And I have no idea who comes out of this group. Different styles, different countries. It's going to be really fucking exciting. Tell me what you're thinking. Bayern Munich, Roma. What are you going to be looking out for in this one? Yeah, so you're going to be surprised to learn that I am really excited to watch Georgia Stanway <laughs> play in this tournament. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, come on, man. Like, I, you know, she's going to do her thing. She's going to control the midfield. She's going to be like your defensive holding midfielder who's able to kind of set the tone. What more can you ask for with with teams of this pedigree? Like, and think about like kind of your your defensive backing for Roma, not surprising for an Italian side. And then obviously Stanway for Germany. But you have Kumagai and Stanway in here. And they're going to be opposite sides of the field from each other. It's unlikely that they're probably going to get a lot of like time to clash, but I could just see them kind of like as two generals looking across each other like, I know what you're doing yeah. over there. I see you over there. And so you're true. right. This whole group, like we talked about like Roma at Bayern, PSG at Ajax, like we're going to get a Bayern PSG game. We're going to get an yeah. I- we're going to get an Ajax Roma game. Like this is fantastic. So you're right. I mean, just totally loaded with really smart footballers who like I like we talked a lot about Japan and uh Kuma guys uh pedigree there so what's not to love about about this whole group full transparency this past world cup was definitely my first deep dive into the women's game and it makes perfect sense that Georgia Stanway plays for Bayern mm-hmm. you know just thinking about <laughs> kind of her st- you know and it's so funny to see the different nations represented on the different teams and seeing where people essentially landed and decided that they want to play. Yep. You know, you have like Caroline Graham Hansen in Barcelona and like Danielle Vandedonk, like, you know, where, where she's at Lyon and you're just like, oh yeah, that's perfect. Like, so <laughs> right. um, it's going to be really awesome watching these players that I really kind of became fascinated with in this past World Cup play at the absolute highest level for their domestic sides, playing a different style. Lucy Bronze in Barcelona, like she obviously, they, they play Spain in the finals, England. And um, the cross-pollination makes it an extra level of exciting for me as you know somewhat of a newcomer to the women's game so super duper pumped for every permutation of these group c matchups all right man champions league preview i think we did it that'll do it for this episode but be sure to follow and subscribe into the channel we broke down the qualification process we dove heavy into all four groups how we got here what we expect to see in these group stage matches and hopefully we provided a valuable look ahead with regards to what we expect from this year's tournament and this week's games big thanks to my co-host mr grant engel we are about to embark on quite the journey my friend i know you and i will be locked in and here's to hoping our audience will be locked in right along there with us every step of the way. Yeah, man. I think we're just in for an absolute banger of a tournament. I'm just excited to watch and I will see you next week to recap some of these amazing games. Hell yeah. Super glad to be doing this with you. Episode one in the books. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Looking forward to the journey. Enjoy the football. 